So now let's implement git slope and git offset. Again, git slope is returning a float. We're going to make these inline. Git slope. And it's going to take in a tile type. And units of game get offset also takes in a tile type. So how do we know if the slope is positive? So we know a slope is positive if it's a right top slope or a left bottom slope. So I'm going to make a couple of constants to help us out with that. So const tile type right top. And this is going to be a tile type set right slope and set top slope. And then another const tile type for left bottom. Left slope bottom. So now we can know if we have a, con a, a positive slope, const bool is positive, if our either our tile type is a right top tile type. So I'm going to do bitwise anding to figure this out. And what this does is it says, any, it makes sure that, okay, let me write it out first, right top and it with tile type. So this right here says everything that is both, all the flags that are both true and right top and tile type, just set those flags and put it in another tile type. And then we'll see if that next, that new tile type is equal to right top. So basically what we're doing is we're saying, are all of the flags set in right top also set in tile type? Or we want to see if all of the left bottom flags and tile type are set to be left bottom. So if we are going in a positive, uh, we do have a positive slope, then we'll just return is positive 0.5. Otherwise, we want to return negative slope. Now let's do our offset. So it'll be very similar. So we'll start with the one tiles and that's either going to be left top tall or right bottom short. I'm going to put this in a, a scope so that these constants don't leak out for the next check. So const left top tall. and right bottom short. So if it is either of those things, so if short and it with tile type is right bottom short then we want to return one tile okay so after we check that then we can check for the zero tile case which is left bottom tall or right top short so let's make another couple of constants const tile type left bottom tall and right top short.
And then we do a similar check down here. And then we'll return units of game tile 0.0f. And finally, in the final case, we want to return half a tile, right? Because the rest of them are half a tile. So now what do we do with our is colliding? Well, if we are colliding, so if is colliding, then we want to return our calculated position. Otherwise, we want to fall through and return none because there was no collision. Now it's finally time to test this sucker. Let's see how it works. So I had already built it kind of in between. But the Doritos seem to be working. Quote is climbing up walls. He's, he's running into side walls. If I hold down while I'm going down, you can kind of see this how the stickiness is going to be a problem. So I'll, I'll, you can see like, and that makes it like exceptionally hard to jump while you're walking down a slope. So that's no good. Let's see how he reacts to hitting his head. He seems to be hitting his head ever higher. Okay, so he's hitting his head too often, which is something we'll need to fix. So maybe only hit his head if we're going in the delta direction. Let's um let's look at how the gun works. So the gun seems to be a little bit is that okay? Is that right? I don't know. It seems a little bit off to me. Oh, it's definitely off in the x direction, that's for sure. So we'll need to fix that too. And whoops, uh that I shot off screen. So let's go into player class and fix that right now. Let's see if that is delta deer. So right now we are colliding with the top side even if we do a secondary collision with the top side we create a particle let's only do it if we're going in the delta direction and also bring this down so you can see it all right so let's build and run try that again okay so we're running into some problems with the power doritos too that I know about and we're going to fix in the next episode um, because this episode will get too long if we try to fix it here. But this head bop seems to be working a lot better. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if you didn't see, yeah, it just it can fall through. It, it falls right straight through. So let's try to find one where it doesn't. Let's actually turn off Power Doritos for now and fix it in the next episode. I promise. I'll even go through some debugging tips um, to figure out why it, what's going on is what's happening is happening. So yeah, um, now let's work on our polar star. So let's see what's going on there. I'm guessing that I'm probably using the wrong perpendicular position. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm using the get x and get y for the perpendicular position. This needs to be the center x and the center y of our rectangle. So instead of using get x and get y, let's use rectangle dot center x and rectangle dot center y. Of course, this means we've been using our perpendicular position for this particle x and particle y. Um, and we're expecting it to be get x and get y, I think. Um, and now it's at the center x, so we're going to need to offset it by units half a tile. So instead of doing it twice, let's just do it to the whole particle x and particle y. So let's change this to collision x, because this will now represent the point of collision instead of the point where we're going to create our particle. So let's call this collision y. Um, actually, let me show you the problem first, so you guys can see what's motivating it. So. I'll just shoot it at a regular tile and you can see how it's offset to the right by half a tile. So we need to not have that happen. Mm, collision Y. So let's get rid of this here and this here. 
Oops. And instead, we'll pass in collision x minus half a tile and collision y minus half a tile. And this should do it. Let's see. Let's test it on. Yep, those work. That works. That works. That works. That works now. Okay, yeah, that looks really a lot better. And again, we'll fix the power Doritos in the next episode. There's something, there's a little bit more that I didn't mention. A, a little bit more of a difference between walking entities and just bouncing entities. So we will get into that in the very next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and happy developing.